pie, an iconic kiwi food. Today we show you where to get the best one in the country. Ooh, that's controversial. Oops. Oh my god, can you guys believe that we have already spent 200 days on the road tackling activities all around New Zealand and there is more to come. Today, day 200 starts with a pit stop at the Church of the Good Shepherd, which is a true tourist hotspot. Okay, I'm going out there. I'm going to take photos of the Church of the Good Shepherd, but I'm so scared. There's so many tourists. Although this is our last day in Lake Tekapo, we couldn't live without checking out the Church of the Good Shepherd. This is probably one of the most photographed buildings in New Zealand and it is lupin season, meaning that those beautiful purple flowers that you have probably seen on every single picture of the area are in full bloom and we are taking full advantage of it. The lupins aren't here all year round though, we're here at the perfect time in December when they are just coming into bloom and they stick around till late February. And although the lupins are considered a pest in New Zealand, you have to admit they look pretty damn good. It's unsurprising that this is a top tourist hotspot in New Zealand. The whole place looks absolutely stunning with these beautiful purple flowers, this really quaint little historic church looking out onto the blue waters of Lake Tekapo. And right in the backdrop, we can see the Southern Alps as well. This is really a special place to be. An interesting story about the lupins though, it's not actually certain who introduced them into New Zealand. It was said that they started cropping up around the 1950s where some people say that farmers used them to better the feeding conditions of merino sheep, while others say that a farmer's wife planted them all around the area to liven up the place. Whatever the reason, you can see them all over the Mackenzie region now. And after spending some time at the Church of the Good Shepherd, we are now hitting the road to our next destination, which is going to be the township of Fairley. However, we are keen to do something along the way. So we have heard about a place called Lake Opua, which apparently has a walkway all around the lake, which sounds awesome. So we can't wait to go check that out. Lake Hopuha is definitely not well known in the area. There is a campsite where we've been told this is where the start of the hike will be, but as per finding this start of the hike, it's a little bit of a tricky one. We find a lot of mud patches, a muddy lake, we find a lot of cow field, we venture ourselves really off the beaten track, but it really looks like we're not gonna find the beginning of that goddamn hike. Well, sometimes when you write a travel guide, you have to follow like one small hint that someone gave you, and sometimes that hint was just. A swamp of uh, um... Okay, so we won't be adding hashtag that fairly swamp onto backpackerguide.nz, but we have heard that fairly has a lot to offer. There is apparently an outdoor photo exhibition and New Zealand's best pie, and Kiwis are really serious about their pies, so it better be super good. So the lake was a bust, but it looks like the bakehouse actually exists. So we are heading toward the lake. The, so we are heading toward the bakehouse right now. We are in the center of the little township of Fairley. And hopefully, there gonna be some amazing homemade goods, delicious treats that's gonna make us forget the fact that we didn't get to see a lake. In the quaint little township of Fairley, it's pretty easy to find the Fairley Bakehouse. It's basically where every car and person is lining up at lunchtime. And as soon as we arrive, we meet the head chef. All right, so what's your specialty here? Special is pork belly pie. Pork belly pie? With apple sauce and crackling on top. We oh, sell wow. about four times. Four times a month? Yeah. Holy shit. Now it's time for us to see what all the fuss is about. Robin and I are getting ourselves a pork belly and apple pie, which is absolutely amazing. Definitely one of the best pies that we've tried in New Zealand so far. And because day 200 is a day to celebrate, we're also treating ourselves to a baked cheesecake. 
With our bellies full, we decide to go for a little wander around the town of Fairley, which is also known as the gateway to the Mackenzie region. And to celebrate that, it has this outdoor photo exhibition of all the main hotspots. After that, we are then going to our accommodation for the next couple of days, which is the Fairley Holiday Park, for a well-deserved rest. It is such a comforting feeling as we bite into that pie. It, it like, oh, it, everything just feels right. When we bite into that pie, you get the perfect balance of sweet and savory. It just crumbles, but it's not too flaky, so it makes a mess. It just flakes into your mouth. The crackling makes a satisfactory crunch as you bite into it. Oh, it is amazing.